Next up, we're just gonna take as less damage as we can, be that as uh, fighting enemies or going past enemies, but always come in here um, just to get that extra quick silver bullets. Always be picking up quick silver bullets. Any consumables you wouldn't be picking up. So that elevator that we acted earlier, wait till he goes past. Just run past these guys because we don't need to fight them anymore. Uh, this elevator here is the shortcut to the boss, but it's still a long trek even if you die again. So. What you're gonna do here is just kind of bait out this attack. There's gonna be a big fireball. What I like to do is. Oh dear. We're gonna run past these enemies here. There is an item up there, but we don't really need it. And enter the Gascoigne fight. This is one of the hardest fights in the game. So don't uh, worry if you die here. I'm probably going to die myself. So be that, be that as me. Let's go. So, everything you've been learning up to this point, the visceral attacks, the dodging, um, is going to be tested here. There you go, we got first cost, first uh, visceral attack. So this guy, he can also visceral attack you. So you're just going to, like, be aggressive, kind of, uh bait out attacks, get the viscerals. As you can see, I'm not doing too well. But that's kind of what the game is telling you to do, is be aggressive and you'll get them. Yeah, he fucking hits hard. Ah, oh, no, fucked up. Oh, yep. So, this was a really good time to get that repost in. Oh, fuck. So, he's transformed into a beast. We're gonna pop that music box. Get in behind him. Oh no! Finish with the repost. Done. Easy, easy dubs. So that was Father Gascoigne. It's gonna, it's not gonna look as easy as that. <laughs> Trust me. It's not an easy fight. I just, I've just played this game a lot, lot more than it probably the average human should play Bloodborne, but it's a, it's a very difficult fight. So, we activated that lantern, we're going to go up. So, as we were talking about before, there was a red jeweled brooch, and that was the little girl's mother that was killed here. But we're not going to give her it back, because we're dicks. What we are going to do, though, so, is head on to our second-ish kind of hub area.
and uh, basically this this was that was the tutorial. <laughs> that was the fucking tutorial, man. I keep forgetting you can sprint up ladders on this. Open this chest. Blood gem workshop tool. This means we can equip our buffs to our weapon. Reward or second ish kind of hobby area in the game. Uh, go ahead and go forward, activate the lantern. There is a guy here, but uh, he doesn't really give you much information. Well, he does, but it's uh, for the meta walkthrough, it's irrelevant. So, uh, we're gonna head down there. To start with, so you can decide to come out here, which a lot of people do. That's not the way to go. Uh, by the way, if you want to head back to uh, the Hunter's Dream, fill up with your refill your stock, you can easily do that. But for just now, we're just gonna head down here. These guys are fucking tanky. They're ugh, hits, but really easy to visceral. Uh, they're really hard to stun lock Just doing normal attacks, so baiting out uh, Visceral is always the way to go as you can see I just <laughs> fucked up the visceral there, but the stun lock was fucking so hard to get Back up to max blood vials pick up the other Hunter garb so we got a top hat. I think we'll equip that so yeah, that is something you don't want to go into just yet, because <laughs> uh, that's for later game. Uh, so right now, what we're going to do is go this way. You can decide to fight this guy if you want to. He's really tough, but uh, stick to the inside of his leg, which I'll, I'll... You don't have to fight him, so just let him pass. If not, you can fight him like me. Whoa, shit, I didn't expect that. <laughs> Charge our twos are your best friend here. Fucking hell. Forgot how hard he hits. Well, that's something learn. You can learn if, uh, something new you learn every day. I've been playing this game for how long? I didn't even know you could visceral them guys. <laughs> uh, so, yep, there's nothing up there. Uh, what we're gonna do is come down here, grab some more. Uh, grab some more items. Just watch you don't aggro both of these guys at once. Oh my fucking god. Doesn't get much closer than that. Just be careful because those crows hiding. Get the visceral, get the full the the health restored. Fucking quick, bitch, man. Oh! I literally just said, 
don't remember about the crows and what happens. So there's a set of binoculars here. You don't have to get these. A mo uh, monocle, even. So, next, uh, one of them guys, uh, the big guys that we just fought, he's sitting over there. So what we're gonna do... Is sneak up on him. Nice and easy. Get a charge R2, and then a 3 hit combo with the L1. Stick to that booty. Blood vial. Five blindstone shards. Uh, head down here. Pick up a bloodstone gem. And the... The locked door that everyone has been thinking about for years since the game came out. It's just says closed, it can't be opened, there's nothing behind it. So, that's this area. Uh, done. Gonna go back to where we, uh, where we came and go down here. Get us heal up before we go down. Got a lot of echoes that we don't want to lose here, so. As you can see, there's quite a lot of enemies here, so try. The dog sometimes does something stupid, which I'll try bait him out to do. Yep, there we go. Oh no, he didn't do it. <sighs> oh my fucking god. I thought it was me dead. Yep, I'm dead, I'm dead. Oh my god. What the fuck? <laughs> See how easy it is just to get fuck like you fuck up one attack and then that's you done. Get behind him. Fuck you bitch. No. Uh this next bit there's two dogs that come at you rapid fire. Just be careful. Cause I've died at this bit a lot of times. Yep. Just as easy to get overrun like that. <laughs> it's fucking nerve wracking because it's two enemies, but this guy at the top here. I fucking missed him. That's what you get, bitch. Pick up his quicksilver bullets. Proceed through the door. We're gonna not gonna go down there just yet. I talked to this guy. He's gonna give us. Oh, my fucking god! <laughs> I knew it. That's precisely. He's gonna give us. Oh, beg pardon. Uh, fire paper. Alfred. One of the most effective Jay, things in the game. Hilarious. So, why not call? So just oh, hit cooperate. Very good. Very good indeed. Take this to celebrate our acquaintance. Gives you fire paper on an visit. emote or a gesture. So fire paper is by far one of the most effective things in the game. Along with um uh bolt paper. 
which we will get later on. So yeah, this is uh, this part of Yarnum complete. Gonna pull this lever. Pick up the Madma's knowledge. Oh yeah, for every boss you defeat, and for every new area that you discover in the game, you'll get uh, an insight, plus one insight. Head down here. More bloodstones. Now just be careful as there is a dog here waiting for you. You can't uh, visceral these guys. The timing it can be pretty bad. Best way to do is just get in behind them. Spam that uh, button. Uh, the R1, L1 attacks. So we're now making our way down to Old Yarnum. Oh, there was an item over there. Oh wait, we can't. <laughs> we need to drop down again. Fuck me. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. Head up the stairs. Antidote. Just uh, foreshadowing what you're gonna need for this next boss area and area so as you can see here just before we head into the next area we're gonna return level up and then it is on to old Jarnum so same again uh, Use whatever. Uh, use whatever uh, things we got. Uh, don't uh, spam Madman's knowledge just now because um, we're gonna need to get rid of it after one boss. So just save it for just now. Uh, like any that you don't need. Uh, so since we beat Father Gascoigne, we can actually purchase his drip, which is actually really good, but we're not going to do that just quite yet, but we will. So, uh, Blood Gem Fortification. Oh, this is a really good one to get off the bat. It's like a 3% chance of getting a 2 put like that one to start with, so. Equip it there. Uh, repair your weapon if you want. Uh, fortify, though. We're gonna get a plus 3 saw cleaver, and it gives us another... Uh, another, um... Another blood gem, uh, another blood gem uh, thingy. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna level up quickly. Welcome. This time we're gonna dump well. everything into strength because we're gonna need it. Are all three levels? <laughs> So yeah, this build's gonna be strength uh, and vit build basically. Farewell, good hunter. Uh, if you want to spend remaining echoes and stuff, you can by all means, uh, like quicksilver bullets and that. But you find quite a lot throughout the game. <laughs> or if you want to grind in uh, central Yarnum, by all means, go ahead. So, in the next episode, we will be heading into uh, Old Yarnum. Yep. So, we will catch you then.